My name is Carson Hunt. I have homocysteinuria. I am the 28th case out of 50 people right now in the whole world. My mission today is to show my, share my story and give inspiration to other families. When Carson was born in 2007, it was pretty fast that we realized that something was wrong. We knew that he was going to have club feet. They had told us that, so we were prepared for that. But what we weren't prepared for is when I looked into his eyes, there was just something missing. I could tell right away. He was starting to show signs of failure to thrive. He began losing weight. He was missing developmental milestones, such as tracking and smiling. He was having complications with eating and breathing. Uh, we continued to go to doctors on a very regular basis, but no one could really um, help us understand what was happening in, in Carson's young life. When he first was diagnosed, he was diagnosed with MTHFR, and that's what we believed that he had. And, and eventually, uh, the test came back, and we found out that uh, he did not have MTHFR. He actually had CBLG. Carson's condition was not caught on a newborn screen, and that's why it's so important that our mission is to try to help every state require this so that other children aren't missed, because we don't know what could have happened within those three months that he was not treated. They told us that, you know, it might we might just have to go home and, and love him. They didn't know what was going to happen. They told us he wasn't going to walk, talk, kick a soccer ball, let alone ride a bike, play a saxophone. He continues to defy the odds. So you can be anything you want to be. I have had to put a lot of extra focus and hard focus on everything that I've had to do. Homocysteinuria has affected my speech. Also, I have been doing speech, so it's been hard for people to understand me a lot. But I've been doing that for a while now. I am legally blind but in my life, I've been able to do whatever I put my mindset to. I recently became a black belt in Taekwondo. Nice. I am having a soccer team with my dad, and I am recently doing band, and I'm gonna be doing the marching band for my school next year. My relationship with Carson is super tight. Um, we are each other's best friends. One, two, three, toes. While I do not have homocysteinuria, any form of it, I like to think that Carson's journey is also kind of my journey. Maybe not medically, but morally, spiritually, and I get inspiration uh, through Carson. What I'm most proud of about Carson is how he overcomes the little things uh, every single day with such a smile on his face. Carson's presence gives us a sense of positivity, and his smile and his laugh brightens up uh, the room when he's in. Also, Carson is so amazing at defying the odds. Whatever he sets his mind to, we might go, well, maybe that's not a good idea at first, but then Carson comes and tells us, he's like, no, like, I can do this. And so we find a way to work around that. And I often, like, text him or tell him, you know, proud brother moment. Like, that's something that I would not have envisioned you doing, and yet you see yourself doing it, and you seek out what could potentially be impossible, and you make it a reality for yourself. The main thing I want families to know is that even though this can be a hard time and you can learn from this, make sure that your kid can do what they want if they set their mind to. Make sure that they can enjoy even when they're diagnosed. They can do a lot than people can expect. Even though these challenges that a lot of people can have, there are always ways to get past them. There's no challenge to where there cannot be a way to overcome. Just know there's always a way to overcome something.